I'm Joanne Erickson. I'm a parent uh, to a graduate and to a daughter who's in eighth grade. Um, I'm a teacher. I've been in District 241 for 22 years. This is my 24th year of teaching. I've been actively involved with at-risk kids and teaching uh, for a long time. Um, first, I want to say that I'm up here because I'm teaching my daughter about democracy tonight. I'm teaching her that limiting somebody's voice to two minutes and 30 minutes total is just about as laughable as forums where people don't get to voice their opinion. Democracy is about people having their voices heard. You've probably heard in the past that some teachers are afraid to say their opinion because they're afraid of retribution. I have to tell you I'm shaking tonight and I'm wondering what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day. What I did call some members about today was about what they're not hearing. You're not hearing opposition from staff members. And there's a reason. And I want you to think about what that reason is, because I'll tell you, when I go to school and there's a day where we get to go to lunch, where we want to go to lunch, we can't even decide that together. To think there's no opposition to this, it's not true. There is. It's a silenced opposition. I personally know at the, I'm mostly concerned about our high school and what this could do to our high school. We have lots of teachers who teach uh, and come from other districts in very high need areas, math, science, special education. And if they don't want to stay here because they want to be on a schedule with their children, where are we going to find people to replace people who have such good qualifications? I'm asking tonight that you table this and get the community involved and get the teachers' voices actually heard instead of just asking for a letter of recommendation from the union. Thank you, Joanne.